is where we have Mr. Ajay is Nair as the speaker. Today, the speaker will be discussing the topic digital marketing strategies, and he is here to inspire to innovate with his knowledge and experience. A very few words about him. Ajay is the chief strategist and CEO of Fresh Mind Ideas, a branding and digital marketing agency based in Technopark, Kerala, and Bangalore, Karnataka. Ajay is an MBA and certified digital marketing expert, award winning entrepreneur, speaker, and a brand consultant. He brings nearly a decade of experience in branding, digital strategy, and marketing. So, today's session is co hosted by St. Albert's College, Ernakulam. A special thanks to the IEDC team and the honor officer, Shine. Inspired to Innovate is conceived to engage the student community during this lockdown period. Any interested individual can attend the session. Every day will be a 40 minute knowledge packed interactive session where key speakers, including the startup founders, academicians, and industry leaders, will share their knowledge and experience. The webinar scheduled today will be a 40 minute session. So you can type your QA uh, on the left side of the screen. There is a QA uh, section over there. So you can type your questions over there uh, ongoing the session. So I request each of you to take this as an opportunity to connect with him and make the most out of the session. I would like to formally invite Ajay to take over the session. Over to you, Ajay. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Srikuti. And uh, special thanks to Kela Startup for uh, having me. It's great to have, uh, uh, you know, working together. And we have been working together for, uh, you know, more than some years now. And uh, thank you so much, uh, dear attendees. And I'm pretty excited to see the, uh, the list of attendees over here. Uh, very excited. And uh, I'll just share my screen so that, you know, um, I just want your help. Just make sure if you're able to see my screen, um, can someone type uh, yes or no so that, you know, I'll be clear that whether my screen is shared or not. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I can see a lot of yes, yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, I'll just go through the screen and I'll put it in a present mode. Yeah. So this has been designed from a platform called Canva. You might know this. So as um, you know, Srikuti has rightly mentioned, so this will be into digital marketing and strategies. So how we can plan a strategy, what all the things that is included, we'll deep dive into it. Although it is a vast subject, we have a limitation of time. So I've uh, prepared the pre presentation in a, such a way that it covers most of the important part and uh, you will get some value out of it. So that is the agenda of it. So yeah, who I am. Uh, I'm Jay Nair, and I'm the chief strategist and CEO of a branding and digital marketing company called Fresh Mind Ideas. So certified by Google Business Awards. A little bit of uh, me is available in, in uh, websites like ajayasnaya.com or freshmindideas.com. So I don't want to too much time here. Uh, to the next slide. So just uh, just a thing in between. If you find any any question you want to ask, please feel free to put it in the uh, Q&A session. So I'll be monitoring it in. And and just one more thing. Um, are you able to hear me clearly? Is there any other disturbances? Is there any any um, sound check needed? Can you just comment yes if the sound is fine or no medium whatever you want to just if you can just if you come and it would be very helpful. Ajay, sometimes it breaks. Uh, is there anything you can do? Uh, uh, is 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 it because a, is there a delay or is it like a, no 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 not a delay something breaks only due to the coverage. Oh okay okay. Uh, right now it is uh, okay. So far it's good. Okay. Okay. So if there is any, um, yeah, please. It 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 has broken right now. Is it? Are you, it's audible. So. Uh, is 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 there a, a break? I'll do one thing. I will just turn off the video. Uh, because um, that way I can. If there is an issue with the. Um, you know, connection, then it will still work. Okay. So how good is it? Is it bad? <laughs> or is it fine? Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. okay. Right, perfect. Uh, so this is the agenda that I have set for this program. So the agenda for the web webinar is to identify the digital marketing strategy core elements and on how to set a digital marketing goals. 
target audience set how to do it terms of digital marketing strategy and user journey mapping so these are the things that uh, uh, you know plan for this webinar so we have a 30 minutes for the session and i believe it's for the q and a so let's jump in so is digital marketing so basically we know marketing is uh, is the core part of a business and that is what brings a lot of revenue right so digital marketing is nothing but marketing through the digital channels or the digital mediums so marketing and promotions through digital channels such as say social media like facebook twitter or instagram you know it right so and email application email and web applications search engines like google bing then through websites and any new digital channel okay going ahead so why this is the most relevant time to discuss about digital marketing so some popular and you know, the outbreak and the uh, you know issues related to it all these has been blocked and there is no people out there but still there are ads that those are running but not at all you know viewing by any person you know no one, nobody is there in the street so there is no need of such ads so this is why the importance of digital marketing comes in now if you look at the strategy if you put it right you can see that even in house a lot of people are using this kind of uh, devices the laptops the tablets and here are some news coronavirus 87 percentage of increase in social media usage amid lockdown indians spent four hours on facebook and whatsapp and that is just about facebook and whatsapp right so then another news from the another uh, website is like wealthy young and educated people more likely to use internet during this COVID outbreak so which means definitely there is a as a scope where you can if you plan well you can go out and work out strategies that will gain customer attention okay so moving on okay so digital marketing is basically an umbrella term a lot of things comes under it like social media marketing search engine optimization search social media uh, sorry um, search engine marketing social media marketing um, search engine optimization then content marketing email marketing media marketing so this is actually a vast subject as i said and it it needs a lot of uh, you know effort to tap on each of the elements so let's go ahead and find out a few of things and see how you can make uh, use of things and this person you might know, right? So he is the CEO of one of the planet's largest e-commerce um, uh, e e-commerce company, the Amazon. So he said, like, it's hard to find things that won't sell online, and that's totally true. If you imagine, most of the things that are available offline are now going online, and you can avail it most of the times, right? Mm -hmm. So it's hard to influence the consumer decisions the decision in terms of actions in terms of buying in terms of whether attending an event or not whether uh, registering a particular act uh, you know uh, registering a particular activity so this is this is actually a set of things that we focus on to uh, you know empower the the uh, consumer or you know influence the uh, consumer to take certain decisions and before you jump in with digital marketing and related things, it's very vital for you to understand, is the customer you are trying to target available online, right? So before you get started into it, make sure that TA, TA is the target audience, is available online. So otherwise there is no point in running a, an ad campaign or a digital marketing campaign, all right? Okay, so before you set the goal, you need to understand these three elements and this has been introduced by a famous uh, writer speaker simon sinek so simon sinek famously has uh, if, if you can just google uh, google and you know see his ted talk it's 
pretty famous so he has came up with simple uh, you know golden circle so where he said the importance of why how and what so most of the time what happens is organizations they know like you know what are their product what are their service and they just start marketing it saying that you know we have the best product we have these and these features blah blah blah, blah and that is not going to work and some say about how like you know we help with these and these because we have these and these technologies so a very few companies out there who really cares about saying why apple is one of those examples which uh, you know comes out and say why they really uh, are in the market and why you should buy from an apple so i will will jump into it so let, let's let's look at uh, some of those examples so if it was just a typical uh, marketing company they will just put their text like we make great computers they are beautifully designed simple to use and user friendly one by one so on a psychological aspect it doesn't really uh, cares about the user or you know it, it is not just evoking any kind of emotions so what but what 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 this apple has done is so they have crafted it in a way like they put it like everything we do we believe in challenging the status quo we believe in thinking differently the way we challenge the status quo is by making our product beautifully designed simple to use and user friendly and we happen to make great computers one by one so if you see the the change in um, you know the way they approach their customers they actually started with the why why they exist what they believe in what what is the uh, you know what is the goal of this organization so that is why you can see a lot of uh, apple fans out there um, i i haven't seen much of uh, other technology companies have this much uh, you know fan base because these guys really uh, strike it and yeah th this is the person i have mentioned so his name is simon sinek his book is very famous and uh, uh, you know uh, no affiliate uh, thing but just i just truly uh, recommend it because if you want to uh, run a business or, or if you're you know uh, like if you're looking forward to be part of some uh, entrepreneurship programs it's good always good to have uh, a read a set of books so one among this is start with why by simon sinek all right so now just go to the steps for digital marketing strategy so i have uh, just pulled down a few of the top steps that we follow and uh, i'll just go through it so it is smart goal setting so there is a reason why i put the smart in caps and define the target group or the target audience user journey map or user journey mapping campaign development content ma management calendar resource planning and result measuring so we'll go one by one okay so uh, smart stands for uh, just a second just a second uh, it's a little bit glitch i guess yep Okay, okay, sorry. So SMART stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and timed. So when you're setting goals, you make sure you go through this purpose, I mean, these steps, whether it is for your business, whether it is for you know, some initiatives that you are planning, even for nonprofit, it should be, there should be a SMART attached to it, right? So goal setting here are like smart goals in the digital marketing sphere. Here are some examples that we used to, uh, you know, keep. So just pulling out some examples from the, uh, you know, the pro pro project we're into. So here, one of it is like increase the email subscribers by twenty percentage by the end of first quarter. So that is one of the goal. Like you know, increase the email sub subscribers by twenty percentage. So what all? That's a goal, and uh, you should be you should finish it in a timely manner by the end of first quarter. You have to come up with it. Improve social media engagement by using animated videos, resulting to 
10 percentage plus in the brand awareness. 2x the quality leads by increasing the promoted budget by 15 percentage. Increase the video views by up to say 10,000 views by using strategic promotions. So these are just uh, examples for you to understand what smart goals or smart goal setting is about. It is measurable. You know, it has some numbers attached to it so that you know, when you go out and do the analytics, you'll be clear about the expectation and you know the actual result. Okay, so next is defining the target goal audience. So this is actually a practice that we used to do. The reason for this kind of, uh, 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 you know, defining the persona or the, uh, you know, user persona design is because you will be very clear about whom you are targeting. So here we have, uh, you know, really put um, like, you know, the images, their real names, their occupations. So all these are good to understand whom we are targeting. For example, in, in this case, like, you know, we are targeting a person who has uh, a, a lot of desire for the shoes. Like, you know, they narrow with the shoes and reading other reviews about the company. If you can just go to this, this section. So this is actually a, a template available online. I'm just taking it for the purpose of, you know, showcasing you that, you know, how this really works. And she has certain problems. So this is actually um, not a real character, but a character that we have cooked up to see how the customer will be thinking what what is our customer look like what is it where they spent more time uh, what are the websites they spent uh, you know for example if if this particular customer is spending more time on say linkedin um, you know we shouldn't spend more mo money on facebook or even instagram so these kind of things when we arrive at this kind of planning by going through this kind of uh, you know, persona creation Right. So, some jumping. So, it's a bit, bit theory there. I, I don't want to uh, go to each and every word, but basically, it is a journey of the customer. For example, you will imagine, uh, you can imagine like, you know, someone wants to buy a mobile phone. They will just go to Google, search like uh, mobile phones under 20,000, and they see a result. They go to the site and they make the, uh, you know, payment and they, they just purchase the item. So that is the expectation we will have. But in reality, it will be totally different. So they will be going through several websites. They will be going through uh, recommendations by the friends. They will be checking out reviews. They will be um, uh, looking at the other uh, you know, videos on, on mobile suggestions. So there is a lot of things the customer will um, go through before they make a buying decisions. So the following is the a set of uh, uh, you know areas that they might go through. That is the awareness part, consideration part, intent part, decision, and loyalty. So this depends uh, based on the area that you want to target. For example, if it is uh, say uh, hospitality industry, there will be some differences. Like you know, most of the time they just go with uh, they spend more time on review websites rather than you know forums and all. This they trust, say, TripAdvisor reviews rather than any random front coming and saying. So it depends on uh, area. I mean, it depends on industries and domains. So I have just put an e-commerce customer journey map example for you. So it shows the activities, experience, the expectations, opportunities. Uh, a bit on the on the uh, theoretical part, but I'll just take one and I'll, I'll you know. Uh, take a simple one just as i said uh, say for example if you want to buy a gift for a friend so you search the product so i'm on the uh, you know a second column where the search process happens search your products via online search engines like you know google bing and you find a result so this can be an ad this can be a organic result and you open that web page to check the product details you liked it like you know you check more into the information and compare the data and you go ahead and purchase it so this is actually um, uh, in from a digital marketing perspective this is actually the uh, the goal that we want to achieve but most of the thing, uh, time what happens is uh, a customer go to say google they find out certain items they comes to facebook they see this and then then comes some other recommendations they get attracted to some other ads 
they goes there so then we do the retargeting ads you might have so i'll just quickly tell what retargeting uh, in terms of facebook is so you might have seen facebook ads uh, i mean you might have uh, gone to say an amazon website and came back to facebook and you can see the same ad here so this is basically uh, by using a, a technology called pixel so what pixel does is pixel actually uh, you know it, it's like a it memorizes your journey and it shows you the ads that matters to you. For example, you have gone through the, uh, you know, you, you have gone till the checkout part of some product, but due to some reason you have closed it and came back to Facebook for regular browsing. And then comes an ad saying that, you know, the, the item that you have uh, about to buy have reduced the price. So why don't you think of it? So it is actually a clever strategy where uh, the you know the digital marketer or the uh, product expert behind it thinks that you haven't purchased because of the price so why don't give an offer and grab this customer because the even the customer uh, acquisition cost is really important um, for this you actually need a lot of uh, um, thing to plan like the time the uh, you know the the people the resources you 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 will need the help of a designer you will need maybe help of a video editor content development person the social media expert uh, to uh, you know put it in the right way and you also need certain tools like the analytic tools even the uh, you know social media scheduling tools a lot of such things should be needed right so this actually cost a little bit because uh, until and unless you don't have a particular thing in in hand it's it's a bit hard for you to uh, you know go ahead and uh, run a uh, run a campaign because when you're running a campaign you should make sure that right okay so you should uh, i was just quickly going through the um, uh, the some of the questions you have so if you have any questions uh, feel free to put it in, in between because uh, you know so that i can probably uh, give the answer as i go so what i was telling is like you know if you have uh, you know if you if you understand your goal if you are clear about the user journey mapping make sure you have a budget or you know if make sure you have certain skills that is related to it so that your advertisement or your campaign is more effective and it reach uh, you know reach the desired destination so it needs time and even like you know what to put when to put uh, what is the color what is the type of messaging so these are the uh, regular things that uh, you know as agencies we we go through so for example if we, we want to attract a particular candidate for a college uh, uh, registration i mean you know to to be part of the uh, 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 college so what we do is like we create two different strategies one is for the parents and one is for the students so for parents, the color theme, the the kind of messaging, the kind of uh, um, you know the the content that we use will be totally different from what is it from for the students. For students, it is like a little bit more vibrant, a cool place to go and learn and you know improve their career. For the parents part, it will be slightly different. So we will put we'll be putting it in a different way, showing that um, you know if you put your uh, if you uh, take your student and uh, you know join uh, ask him to join this college they will have a more better secure career so they will be uh, you know they will get hired by xyz company so those kind of things so it is actually a, a strategy it includes a little bit of uh, psychological approach uh, than uh, you know that if you show an ad they will come and uh, you know take the admission so it's it's not truly really like that okay so yeah moving on so and uh, and measuring your particular uh, uh, you know once the things are set so measuring is really important so this is where i have seen most of you know, people, uh, you know even i have I, I, you know, companies i closely work with vp marketing uh, you know vp strategy things like that. Uh, i mean people in in those roles and this is where most of uh, the decision makers fail so they just do a little a little bit of things and they don't really measure the uh, you know the results by results i am not 
talking about the ROI, uh, means return on investment, uh, what I meant is, but you know, what really worked, what didn't work, and if uh, there is anything that haven't worked, how to overcome it. So what is strategy that we have to change? So know the pattern, and even with uh, tools like, say, Google Analytics and all, you'll be able to see what devices the, the customer uses, which location they have browsed, whether it is a male or female, the data will fluctuate a bit, but you'll still understand whether it is a male or female, uh, you know, uh, which particular age group, gender, I mean, gender that, have, uh, you know, male or female or not specified, uh, from where they have came to the website, is it through, say, LinkedIn, is it through uh, regular search, is it by any Facebook advertisement, so if you can measure all these things, you can actually make uh, more smarter decisions. Because by understanding these kind of uh, actions from users, you will know that, OK, I have to do certain things in this way because this is working. The other thing is not working. Then I can, and we can arrive at a conclusion. Right? OK, so that's about the measurement part. So about the digital marketing campaign, so a digital marketing campaign typically have a, 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 a set of elements in it uh, on the on the fundamental side. So that is the title. Uh, title is basically the thing that uh, in as an agency that we put it, and it's a, a deep subject on what is the uh, how the title should be and what should it uh, in, uh, revolve around. And what is the key message? That is the core part. What is the key thing that you are trying to sell or you are trying to promote to your target audience? And uh, then comes, once these two things are done, then comes the content. What type of content it should be? Should it be just text? Uh, should it be a set of images? For example, something funny has happened. So last time we were trying to attract uh, researchers, and we tried it with a set of images, and we tried with text. Uh, text means articles, you know, information sharing and all. So we thought in the beginning that the images will pull the attention and uh, you know it will convert. But what actually happened is they um, attracted towards the uh, written content. They used to, they started downloading a lot of uh, ebooks, um, audio books, the, the the data around it, the journals and all. So then we realized that okay, to target uh, researchers, it is best to go with text. So it 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 may differ based on the location and all. But yeah, so image and then uh, you know it should be video and it should be web interface. The content can also be around the web where uh, you might have gone through certain sites where you know you will be able to raise a car. Okay, this can be the uh, I believe it was it is Moses Benz ad where you know they will allow you to run the car using uh, it's just like playing a game. And towards the end only you will realize that uh, you know this is an ad. So these kind of interactive things can happen, and once you uh, once you determine these kind of things, you should find out what the real channel is. Should it uh, do it in a website? So LinkedIn is mostly for the formal, uh, uh, you know, formal ads. Like you know, if you are targeting for say uh, for hiring a new new ten on B two B customers, like business to business customers. So they spend a lot of time in LinkedIn and Twitter, and and uh, whether to run uh, the uh, you know campaign through email, like you know email marketing. So then also the chat, the it's more or less uh, like a B two B kind of an approach. And we can you can also run ads based on you know messenger apps like say WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, and you know by using bots. So there are a lot of uh, things around it. And uh, finally, the uh, the most important thing that is the CTAs or the call to actions. What is the action that you want your user to take when when they see a particular ad? Is it like uh, you want the user to go ahead and uh, buy a certain item? Is it you want to, uh, you know, they want to go and take a, a registration for an event? What is it that, that you really want? So, um, I'll just move a little bit faster because I can see that you know time is slowly uh, coming to the uh, end. So this is the content calendar draft. Just for your purpose, uh, we have uh, you know it's more or less available in this content calendar draft. You will get uh, a lot of versions. So this is so simple, and in 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 our organization also we used to 
uh, follow this kind of format. So um, here you will have date, uh, you know, on the, on the one side, the other owner. So forget about those, uh, you know, integrity, uh, small small details and all. And uh, so on the topic side, for example, if you uh, this is uh, particularly for the uh, hospital or the healthcare, if you want to target on the healthcare sector, so because now you know that sector is going to have a large boom. So. So for example, this is um, say World Heart Day and the content is a World Heart Day poster and uh, the platform can be Facebook, email and Instagram. So where you will send the World Heart Day poster and the action connected with like sign up for free checkup. So what, why they want uh, people to sign up for a free checkup is like you know, once they sign up for the free checkup, the, the organization will get their uh, uh, you know their name, their email, their contact number, and they can, you know, even if they haven't shown up for the event, I mean, for, for the um, you know uh, checkup uh, process, they can actually con contact back. They can send them promotional items or you know say like uh, anything related to that. They can start pushing uh, their uh, ads based on that. So on, on the other like uh, and I have put the image, this image you, you can, uh, you know, we have uh, actually taken from the uh, sector where we have uh, described about the uh, persona, like, you know, the customer persona. So th imagine this person is a um, is someone who cares about their health and fitness and, um, you know, they, they want to be more fit, they want to, um, you know, stay healthy and all. And that is the target persona that we have kept. And when this criteria is met, she is she or he is more likely to take an action. So to target more, we have put up like you know training on healthy lifestyle, and we put an ebook e and uh, send it across uh, the links and ads across email and LinkedIn. And the intent we have is to sign up for the uh, you know newsletter. So. Again, the doctor interview, healthcare video, they'll go and subscribe or they'll visit the page, they'll share the page. So these are like simple examples where, uh, you know, how good uh, the, the digital marketing advertisement or the campaign can be based on the calendar or based on the fundamental things that you can. So I hope you get an idea of, of, of this section. Okay, so uh, this number, it's 4.39 billion, billion to B, uh, is the, uh, you know, based on the result of uh, 2019 uh, worldwide internet user survey. So you see the opportunity, the, the, you know, the ocean of opportunity, we call it. So this much humans are actually using internet. And imagine, uh, you know, with a smartphone and a laptop, you trying to uh, target these people based on their, you know, location, gender, their age group, their interest. Um, so the opportunities that you have is, you know, it's vast. And uh, here are some of the verticals on digital marketing. And if you can just go through this, you can uh, see religion. I just put it uh, uh, put it straight there because I had this, uh, you know, opportunity to work with certain religious organizations. So. Uh, beginning of my career, I haven't thought like, you know, why should religion need to market? But uh, it happened because, uh, you know, they they were, they were have become more smart and they want to target you online. And now staying at home, you might know it uh, due to certain uh, <laughs> NDAs and all, I cannot uh, reveal the names and all. But it's pretty interesting that, you know, even religions and, you know, politics, of course, uh, enterprises, everyone needs digital marketing and strategies around, strategies around it because they see the future. So people are moving to uh, laptop, mobile phone, tab, you know, all these uh, devices, more than ever it's happening. And the traditional marketing things is almost shut. You know, you, it's, it's hard, like in, even in your case, you might haven't seen a billboard ad from the, for the last, uh, say two weeks, you know, after the uh, lockdown, but you've seen a lot of ads going on, right? Uh, if you can screenshot it, it'll be good. Like uh, this is uh, these are some digital marketing resources where you can go and if you know if you're really interested, you can go ahead and uh, 
uh, start learning on on what digital marketing is what are the fundamentals how how you can do and all certain are paid and i have uh, put the paid plus free uh, uh, you know resources here and if you are interested you can uh, always feel free to reach out to me and i'll be happy to help even in in our organization we have this internship opportunity where uh, you know students come and uh, they do the internships on digital marketing and all so i believe i am in time yeah uh, uh, so it is 536 in my phone so this is the uh, uh, contact information uh, you can feel free to take it and reach me out um, now that my facebook is, i have crossed 5000 uh, friends in facebook i won't be able to add more so i have to make a clean up so i have created a new uh, insta instagram handle that is ajesnar_com you can uh come there so it's a, it's a pretty new one i i believe less than 100 uh, people are there so you can feel free to come there and uh, in a direct message and we can see what can be done so yeah so i think i come for the q and a pretty much on time i guess ajay uh, yeah it's on time uh, on the left side you can scroll down and see the q and a's starting from okay. that uh, in the yeah you can just scroll mm-hmm. down the first question will be in digital mar- marketing which platform is more better fb or yeah. any other start with that sure so um so it it uh, so you know if you have uh, listened to the uh, you know video from the beginning uh, it depends on which which kind of, what is the goal and who you are trying to target so that uh, for example your question is like in which digital marketing uh, in digital marketing which platform is more better so i must say all platforms are good even tiktok is good if you are targeting a certain age group so you have to define your uh, you know customer persona and see where your customer spends most of the time sometimes even social media may not be the right place so okay so like you, even the forums like reddit and quora are good for certain kind of products and services so you have to define it it's a case to case basis can't say this platform is good this is bad uh, because we are doing it in in our marketing results so based on the kind of want to deliver and the kind of audience that you want to uh, reach uh, okay i'll go to the next question in digital marketing photos or videos of our product is more helpful to catch the customers attention question mark yeah of course of course uh, so more than photos it is videos uh, that is that seems to have uh, grab more attention but when you are making videos uh, make sure that it's uh, short like you know 40 seconds max and it it it's so simple and you know people can att- uh, you can grab the people's attention and in fresh my ideas we call something like the uh, thumb stoppers like you know if you are scrolling on the screen and there is something that grabs your attention you stop your thumb and you go ahead and see this so yeah of course so video is slightly better than uh, images but depends on the design and the kind of content uh what are the genuine and effective platforms to learn digital marketing through online yeah i have set a, a couple of uh, uh, resources out there um i'll try to share it uh, through my instagram channel if possible and you can you can yeah, screenshot uh, it and you should sorry and, yeah. there is a, a google online uh, fundamentals of digital marketing course running in the google digital analog platform yeah. so when that, i share that also, yeah yeah that also has been uh, included in the Uh, resources section google unlock uh, digital unlock by google yeah. so you can go ahead and use it. in english and malayalam i don't understand the question uh, praveen kurup i believe uh, you want to understand whether to go for english or malayalam content so it based uh, who used to speak up now your voice is yeah okay and i got it thank you <laughs> can you share as a resource slide again please yeah i'll try to put this slide somewhere yeah i don't i don't want to keep it with me what tools are used in digital marketing we use a lot of tool uh, that can you can uh, use to create uh, ajay your voice is breaking you can turn off that uh, sharing uh, screen sharing and then continue it will be better fine is it better now yeah yeah okay so yeah the tools as i said like there are a lot of uh, scheduling tools available that is what we mostly use then for design and all we sometimes use canva so it is a you know pretty simple and easy tool where you design stuff right so digital marketing resource slide once again uh, yeah 
I, I'll, I'll somewhere and uh, I'll put in my, you know, Instagram or where, where uh, you know, I'll give a link. You can go and see and uh, 